Connor. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After Dudes Delight. So last video of the night for NXT, let's get to it, y'all. So um, after the match, uh, so Roxy and Mako Satomura beat Chance and Carter. Uh, very good match, by the way, and um, that's when Mako got on the mic and... She was like, hey, I did you a favor by showing up here and giving you a tag team party against those girls. You got to do me a favor now. And she was like, I want a title shot. And she looked straight at that title, bro. And uh, Roxanne was like very honored. She said it'll be an honor to face you for this title. So it looks like she's going to get her a roadblock. And roadblock is really an event, you know, before it's stand and deliver. If there's anybody that's going to get in your way. This might be Roxanne's biggest challenge to date, even more than the Toxic Attraction Challenge. Um, because I think one of the reasons why she was able to beat Toxic Attraction the way she did was because Gigi and JC were not on the same page. Um, and now she's going to get a very good opponent. Uh, definitely a good test for Roxanne coming up. I'm excited to see this match. It was a good match just with her and Tag Team. I actually wanted to see them as Tag Team. I'm like kind of with y'all on that. I wouldn't mind seeing them hook up as tag team but uh yeah i think that this is going to be a great match and the thing that i like about this is you don't got to worry about somebody turning heel on somebody it's just a straight up match um it's going to be respect for each other in the match um and stuff like that but like i said i do worry about chance and carter turning heel uh i don't think they're going to interrupt this match but i i, I think they're turning heel over there man but I do want to see who Roxanne Perez. So we'll, we'll probably know after this match takes place at Roadblock who Roxanne will face at Standard Delivered. This will be interesting. Because I have no idea who it's going to be, guys. I don't know who's next up. I keep thinking it's going to be Zoe Stark. But we're going to have to see how whole, that whole thing with her and Sol Ruka go. But uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see who Roxanne faces at Standard Delivered. But uh, let me know y'all comments. I'm going to be back to wrap this up, y'all. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, sack exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least $2 or more. Thank you. So, yeah, to wrap this up, man, um going to be a very good match this will be on march the 7th by the way when this match takes place um this this is a pay-per-view pay-per-view level ple event style match bro it really is uh this is something that you could definitely like maybe one day on the main roster we see this match again man we see these two go at it again it could definitely be a good wrestlemania match um man miko said more the legend bro uh, I, I'm definitely digging this one, man. But I'm so curious to see who Roxanne Perez is going to be facing that stand and stand deliver, bro. This is going to be great. Thank y'all for watching this one, man. After news to like. Thank y'all for watching all my NXT videos this week. And watch my individual NXT videos because I got... I know I got that Carmella video coming, but hopefully I can get one of my other ones coming because I got a lot to talk about as we head towards the draft in May. So... A lot of good things, man. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.